Good evening and welcome. You're watching Breaking Views, the show where we get you all the views so that you get the complete picture. What exactly is happening in the Shiv Sena? Well, uh, if you followed the events in Maharashtra, it was very clear that there was an attempt to go for a Thakre Mukt Sena. The government changed in Maharashtra, a legal battle is on. But then, even before this government could settle down or the Thakres could figure out their next strategy, it was very clear that the next move has begun. Now MPs have started jumping ship, leaving Uddhav Thakre. 12 of the 19 MPs uh, were seen in a meeting with, they were seen in a meeting with uh, Eknath Shinde. Now Thakre has been reduced to a minority in his own party. 12 MPs have also written to the speaker to recognize Rahul Shevle as the leader in the house against the choice of the Shiv Sena, that is the Thakre faction of the Shiv Sena. Thakre Sena is left with just six Lok Sabha MPs. 40 out of 55 MLAs have already joined the Shinde BJP government. Sena rebellion has widened to the Yuva Sena led by Aditya Thakre also. Shinde has moved to control Yuva Sena. Kiran Sali has been appointed to the key post. Yuva Sena Secretary Varun Sardesai is still with Thakre. So as you can see that there is a vertical split in almost every institution of the Shiv Sena. So all this while an argument was being made that this is uh, everything about uh, just the MLAs, the real party is with Uddhav Thakre. Then the MP is now very clearly aligned, uh, at least a majority of them, some of them still with Uddhav Thakre, are now with Eknath Shinde and even the Yuva Sena. So is this an attempt to create a spread a division our MPs Yuva Sena basically the institution is there an attempt to make sure that the institution is separated from the Thakris and will it necessarily work that is going to be our discussion let me introduce our guests at the very beginning Rohit Chandavarkar is a senior journalist joins us from Maharashtra and Jayant Mankar also a senior journalist thank you very much to the two of you Rohit let's begin with you what's your assessment it's very clear this strategy that they were not planning to rest with just uh, seizing power in uh, in Maharashtra now it's the MPs and even at a at a minor level uh, the control over Yuvasena uh, Sanket, this is, uh, you know, more or less what we expected once we saw Eknath Shinde taking over as chief minister and once the swearing-in happened. Uh, we were a little uncertain about whether Shinde is going to get support of close to 40 uh, MLAs uh, from Shiv Sena and about seven or eight independent MLAs and he will be able to bring them to Vidhan Bhavan and uh, and Vidhan Bhavan and uh, uh, prove his majority. Once that has happened, you know, all the other things uh, that, that you see were kind of anticipated or expected. Uh, you, uh, uh, what you said is, you know, hitting the nail on its head. This is a vertical split and this is what we expected. Let me give you some information, not just in the Lok Sabha, but in the last one or two weeks, we have seen, uh, you know, almost a vertical split in many of the municipal corporations, uh, wealthy, affluent municipal corporations of Maharashtra. Like Navi Mumbai Municipal Corporation, there are many uh, councillors, uh, you know, in dozens of them going and uh, clicking for pictures with Eknath Chinde and uh, saying that now they are with Chinde. Same thing happened with uh, Kalyan Dombili, which is a prominent municipal corporation in uh, Thane district, close to Mumbai. And also Thane itself, which is Eknath Chinde's bastion, Shiv Sena's second biggest bastion in Maharashtra after Mumbai. There also we have seen a vertical split happening. So this is more or less, you know, right from Lok Sabha to municipal corporations. Uh, what we see is a complete vertical split, which is going to be very uh, serious jolt to Uddhav Thakre. And I think he also expected this kind of thing. You mentioned Varun Sardesai's name. Now, let me give some information to your viewers. Varun Sardesai happens to be a relative of uh, Uddhav Thakre. So this is more or less now, you know, uh, what, what remains is more or less, I would say, not entirely, but more or less uh, a family-run thing. Uh, there are, of course, people like Vinayak Raut, who's an MP from Konkan, uh, Sindhudurg district, and some of some other MPs, etc., uh, who still remain with uh, Thakre. They are they are not members of his family, but more or less, uh, you know, it's Sanjay Raut, Vinayak Raut, Anil Parab, 
and two, three others who are prominent faces in Maharashtra, they remain with Uddhav. The rest of the party, it, it looks like, has gone with Iknath Chinde. Today, we saw sure. a lot of drama in the, in, the, um, in the regional media where a prominent Shiv Sena face uh, 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 a leader, a uh, former minister called Ramdas Kadam literally wept for uh, minutes and minutes on camera, on various channels, saying how he was trying to, or his group was trying to save Shiv Sena. Uh, and uh, whatever is happening is basically okay. Eknath Shinde's attempt to save Shiv Sena. Okay, Jan so, Menkar, uh, so, so, Jan, so, Jan so, Menkar, so I want to come to you now. You see, uh, yeah. as Rohit was saying, from municipal corporations to Yuvasena to MLAs to MPs, you know, I want to, looking ahead, ask you a, you know, a basic question. In 2024, when there will be Lok Sabha elections and uh, Maharashtra elections, can Uddhav Thakre contain the damage or is the damage already done? And he is like a marginal player in, in Maharashtra's politics. Yeah, uh, let us accept uh, Shiva Sena is going to be a marginal player, even if the, the Thakre faction. Yeah, the Thakre faction is going to be, as we have to say, the Thakre faction. But technically, yes, still Shivasena, according to election, whatever the documents being given with the election commission, the symbol and uh, the title remains with Thakre. So we should say Thakre, okay, Shivasena, Thakre, let Shivasena. And uh, in, even in 2024, as you say, there, there, there is obviously the, there will be the alliance between uh, uh, Nationalist Congress Party and Congress. But still, Shiva Sena will have to play a very minor role. Not that they're dominant or not that something like they uh, had 18 seats from Maharashtra in Lok Sabha. Uh, no, that, that they will not be able to repeat. I don't think so. All right. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, for this, uh, for your uh, views. Uh, Rohit Chandavarkar as well as Jayant Mainkar. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, joining us right now is Mr. Sudhir Mungantivar of the Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, a party which is very keenly observing and as alleged uh, engineering the split in the in the in the in the Thakre faction in the Shiv Sena. Mr. Mungantivar, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, now the Thakre faction of the Shiv Sena says whatever is happening is unconstitutional. What do you have to say about that? ऐसा है शिवसेना क्या कहेगी इसको महत्व नहीं है हमारे संविधान में इस बारे में क्या प्रोविजन है इसे हमको देखना होगा इसके साथ ही जब कोई पार्टी अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन अपनी नोंदनी ये चुनाव आयोग के पास करती है उन्होंने क्या शपथ पत्र दिया है इसके तरफ हमें ध्यान आकर्षित करना होगा शिवसेना पार्टी ने जब अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन किया तब उन्होंने अपने शपथ पत्र में अपने एफिडेविट में लिख के दिया कि हम पार्टी अंतर्गत जनतंत्र को मान्य करेंगे बहुमत को मान्य करेंगे अब पार्टी के विधानसभा सदस्य बहुमत से शिवसेना का झंडा आगे लेकर जा रहे सांसद बहुमत से जा रहे कारपोरेटर बहुमत से जा रहे कार्यकर्ता बहुमत से जा रहे तो मुझे लगता है कि शिवसेना किसी पार्टी की पार्टी जो है शिवसेना ये किसी व्यक्ति की मालकियत नहीं हो सकती ये कोई सात बारा नहीं है ये कोई मकान नहीं है ये कोई निवास स्थान नहीं है कार्यकर्ता परिश्रम करते हैं कष्ट करते हैं मेहनत करते हैं तब पार्टी का झेंडा ऊंचा होता है विचार बड़ा होता है आज जब पार्टी का झेंडा ऊंचा हुआ पार्टी बड़ी हुई है तो वो कार्यकर्ताओं की है ये कोई परिवार की पार्टी नहीं है राजनीति में यह वंशवाद कभी चल नहीं सकता है परिवारवाद चल नहीं सकता जब आप विचारों से भटक जाते हो 24 अक्टूबर 2019 को वो चार बजे का अशुभ समय था ऐसा अपने देश के राजनीति में कभी नहीं हुआ कि हम साथ में गढ़े और जब उनको उन्होंने ध्यान में लिया कि एक सौ विधानसभा चुन के आ रही है मगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी की तो सिर्फ 105 है पगड़ा बदल दिया कांग्रेस राष्ट्रवादी के विचारों के साथ हो गए जो स्वर्गीय हिंदुदय सम्राट बाहर ठाकरे जी कहते थे कि कांग्रेस के साथ जिस दिन जाना होगा मैं अपनी दुकान को बंद कर दूंगा दुकान को बंद करने की भाषा और भाव व्यक्त करने वाले स्वर्गीय हिंदुदय सम्राट बाहर साहब ठाकरे जी के विरोध में चले गए तो मुझे लगता है कार्यकर्ताओं ने झेंडा हाथ में लिया शिवसेना पार्टी हाँ। कार्यकर्ताओं की है किसी परिवार की नहीं ये भाव अभी ये सभी सदस्य व्यक्त कर रहे जी सुधीर जी यू नो I want to ask you, obviously there has to be a deal involved here. 
they are not just going to come MPs for instance, I am sure they would want, uh, you know, there are talks of uh, a cabinet rank minister, an MOS rank minister. What exactly is that deal as far as these rebel MPs of the Shiv Sena are concerned? Is the BJP offering these ministerial births? Aisa hai ki ye aage tayo hoga, aisi koi deal nahi. Deal eki thi ki bhagwa hath mein pakda hai, aapne is rajya ki pragati ke saath, इस राज्य की उन्नति के साथ अपना योगदान देना यही तय हो सकता है उद्धव जी ये शरद पवार जी के साथ चले गए जो उद्धव जी कांग्रेस को बहुत निम्न शब्दों का उपयोग करते थे वही जाके सोनिया जी के साथ झुकने लगे तो कार्यकर्ताओं को ये पसंद नहीं आया कोई डील नहीं उन्होंने इतना ही कहा है सरकार तो शिवसेना भारतीय जनता पार्टी की है तो डील का प्रश्न उपस्थित कहां होता है मुख्यमंत्री शिवसेना के नेता बने हैं तो डील का प्रश्न उपस्थित कहां होता है वो लोग हैं जो अभी भी ये समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं कि उनकी क्या गलतियां हुई वो ऐसे न्यूज लोगों के बीच में पहुंचाने का काम करते हैं कभी कुछ कभी कुछ तो मुझे आश्चर्य होता है कि स्वर्गीय इंदुरदय सम्राट बाहर ठाकरे जी के साथ रहने वाले लोग इतने कमजोर है ऐसा उन्हीं पार्टी का नेता अगर कहता है तो ये भी एक चिंता की बात है कि तुम्हारी विचारधारा इतनी कमजोर थी इतनी कमजोर थी ये खुद होकर वो कह रहे हैं तो ये भी एक आश्चर्य की बात है वो माय लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू मिस्टर मुंगंटीवार यू थिंक दैट पोस्ट 2024 दी एकनाथ फैक्शन विल बी एज स्ट्रांग एज इट इज राइट नाउ और विल द ठाकरे ग्रुप रेजरेक्ट अगेन एज दे से uh that uh, you know our party has been broken and people have left many times in the past also but we have always uh, gathered our courage and stayed together and and emerged stronger uddhav ji ko khade rehna hai to pehle to congress rashtrawadi ka saath chhodna hoga bhai congress rashtrawadi ke saath aage jana ye to aap mungeri ga ke achin sapne rahenge jinko jinko ye samajh mein aa gaya कि ये कांग्रेस ये परिवार की पार्टी है कांग्रेस किसकी है ऐसा कहने के बाद अब कोई महात्मा गांधी जी की नहीं कहता वो कहता है राहुल गांधी जी की और सोनिया जी की पार्टी है राष्ट्रवादी किसकी है जो 25 मई उन्नीस को बनी 10 जून उन्नीस को उसका रजिस्ट्रेशन हुआ बावीस वर्ष में क्या राष्ट्रवादी में राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष के पात्र कोई व्यक्ति नहीं मिलता है पूरा का पूरा परिवार उप मुख्यमंत्री है तो अजित पवार आपने अलायंस तो किया था उनसे चंद घंटे आके वो उप मुख्यमंत्री बने कोई राष्ट्रवादी में दूसरा आमदार नहीं है अगर विरोधी पक्ष तो बनाना है तो घर का ही आदमी क्यों राष्ट्रवादी में कार्यकर्ता परिश्रम नहीं करते और कोई विधायक नहीं है जिसको जिसकी जानकारी है ज्ञान है कोई नेता नहीं है बेटी सांसद बनेगी खुद साल राज्यसभा में जाएंगे दोस्त को छठवीं बार राज्यसभा प्रफुल भाई को भेजेंगे जो ग्रैंडसन है वो विधानसभा में जाएगा तो क्या पारिवारिक पार्टियों के साथ जाके शिवसेना की जो विचारधारा है 80 प्रतिशत समाज कारण 20 प्रतिशत राजकारण ये तो बदल गया अब तो 100 प्रतिशत राजकारण हो गया तो पार्टी खड़ी कैसी हो सकती है उनको तो पहले ये दो जो उन्होंने अनैसर्गिक मित्र बनाए उनको टाटा बाय बाय करना होगा साथ छोड़ना होगा तो खड़े रह पाएंगे नहीं तो खड़े रहना मुश्किल है सुधीर मुंगाटीवार थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम थैंक यू सो मच जॉइनिंग अस राइट नाउ इज सेना एमपी मिस्टर अरविंद सावंत थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर सावंत कैन आई आस्क यू व्हाट रियली अकॉर्डिंग टू यू इज द सिचुएशन राइट नाउ एज फार एज एम आर कंसर्न इश्यू दैट दी टूडे आफ्टरनून आई हैव कम टू नो दैट अराउंड Two third of the members of our parliament have approached the honourable speaker of the house and requested him to uh, appoint a leader from the whatever leader they wanted to choose should be given a permission or granted uh, the approval by the honourable speaker. In fact, you are well aware that right now the situation is that the tomorrow there is a hearing uh, in the honourable Supreme Court and. Uh, The issue is identical to that of a Maharashtra Assembly. Uh, of late, you know, in the last week, the Honorable Supreme Court has directed Maharashtra government and the particular the Speaker of the Maharashtra Assembly not to indulge in any uh, decisions 
or any action against any or any of the MLAs. Similarly, it 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 is it remains applicable for the for the uh, this also. It will remain applicable for this also. Now the issue is that the, what the constitution says. I am really worried about not only the issue of Maharashtra's assembly or a, a part Shiv Sena party. What the constitution say? We are acting in a way which are unconstitutional, unethical. Right from the formation of the government, the honourable governor of Maharashtra has violated all norms. A single largest party should have been invited. Whether the single largest party was invited, whether the single pa largest party has conducted a meeting, whether the single largest party has elected their leader of the house, and it is that the leader of the house be belongs to the uh, some other group which has been elected by the single largest party. Is it so? Let us let the co people come to know what exactly has happened, and how come you invited a person who has uh, defected a party who is maybe two third. But how you invite him directly to take a vote of chief minister under which provisions of the constitution? Mm -hmm. That is what a serious business, and it is identical to that case of Arunachal Pradesh. What has happened in other uh, now? Now the today the member of parliament has approached him. What is that? And everyone knows out of what issues the mem people are living. There is a threat of ED. There is there is a lucrative offers. So both the things can. They are doing both the things. And as no, but then Mr. Savant, you see the rule, Mr. Savant. Since you quoted rules, uh, the way we understand, and you are a parliamentarian, you can perhaps uh, enlighten us also. The formation that has two thirds of the legislature uh, legislators becomes the legislature party, which means the Shiv Sena in the Vidhan Sabha. Is the Shinde no, faction? No, no, no. They have more than. I, I stop it. Similarly, now I, I, as far as MPs are concerned, I, do you see yourself I, I, in a minority right now? Twelve of the nineteen MPs are with the uh, Mr. No, Shinde. no, no, no. You, you are. Narratives are absolutely. Uh, I can. What should I use the word? Incorrect. I not wrong. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. See, it's not the party, sir. Once you 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 are at liberty to leave the party willfully, and if the members are two third. In that case, they will not be disqualified, provided they merge in some part party. This is this is the provision in the constitution. They will not get an identity as a party, sir. Never ever. You kindly go to that classes, clauses of this constitution. No, but not, Mr. Sawant, look at the example after ever. example. They will get recognition. Look at the example of the Lok Jan Shakti Party. Look at other examples also. Not not you know it, it's not no, the no, case no. in all cases. They are again 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 merge again, into I, someone else. No, then, then that, that's what I'm saying. You are comparing with such a thing which is not compared to what is happening in Maharashtra. The most comparable incidence is what is that of Arunachal Pradesh. Mm -hmm. Now, what has happened in Arunachal Pradesh? Do you are you aware of the Arunachal Pradesh case? Mm -hmm. Are you aware, sir? So, should I quote it? Please do. Are you aware of it or not? Please. Then, in that case, what is Arunachal Pradesh, which is having an assembly of 60 members? The election results were declared. Congress got forty-two, BJP got eleven, Five People's Party, two independent. Now the Five People's Party also supported the BG, uh, Congress Party. Forget about that for a moment. The forty-two people were there. Then BJP again with their regular tactics. The I mean whatever the practice they use to uh, destabilize the working government, which is a majority government, they. Uh, I mean, around 22 members from the assembly, I mean, Congress group, they carved out of it. In a way, which way you know it better than mm -hmm. others. So 22 people came out of the Congress party. They joined BJP. It has become 22 plus 11, 33. So it means 60, 33 are majority, and they wanted to form the government. The present, the government, the, the honourable governor who was there was reluctant to do it. So they what they did. They brought another governor, Rajkowa, whose name is Rajkowa, who came over there, and Rajkowa, as what Koshari has done, honourable governor of Maharashtra, same way he did it. He allowed him to take a vote, appointed a chief minister, floor part, everything he has done, and the the the, the chief minister of the majority party, of the uh, defected party Congress went to the Supreme Court, and Supreme Court, honourable Supreme Court, crash 
all the decisions of the government, govern, governor, and again reform the Congress, uh, brought Congress party again on the ruling, and then the uh, these defected people went back, and the leading the person who was leading that defecting party. You know it. What is from, from what you are saying, Mr. Sawan, yes, am I to assume that you are preparing yourself for a long legal battle? That this matter is also going to be in the courts where uh, we are already prepared for that. Hmm. Right now, what we feel is that whatever is being done by the uh, defected group is totally invites disqualification. Nothing else than the provisions of the Constitution of India. Nothing else, or else they are going to merge somewhere. Now you just watch it. That I after 10, 15, or 10 days have passed, I think, two weeks have passed. They have not merged it till. Hmm. How can you recognize a group? Constitution doesn't allow you to recognize a group. Hmm. You cannot recognize them as a party. Which is that party? What is the constitution? Who has elected you? Whether in election, that is the part of election commission. Who are you? You can say I am a party. Tomorrow, if suppose two party two persons are representing of a party. Which is there are in Maharashtra. So though all the two people left the party and no, they go right. to some a other as party. As far as being identified as what you're saying. In the in the one one minute, one minute, one yeah. minute, one minute. Let me complete. Let hmm. me complete. Hmm. In that case, are you going to say the parties uh, parties vanish? But just because two MLA, there are two different identities. Please try to understand it. Hmm. The legislative party has a different identity, and the political party, which is on the outside the on the field, is a different one. They have the uh, cadre in the party, right from Shiv Saini to the leader of the house, leader of the party. The cadres are there. So many things are there. MLAs are there. MPs are there. They are there. It doesn't mean hundred percent MPs are not gone. Had it been so, then you were right. Then you were right that the hundred percent people have gone, and therefore the party will existence will remain. Mm. It is not so in the case of Maharashtra, either in assembly or in member of parliament. No, uh, I think one thing Look, is very sir, clear by way of this you. conversation that you are preparing yourself for a long legal battle. But Mr. Savant, as of this moment, <laughs> with 12 MPs out of 19, with 12 MPs out of 19 uh, very clearly aligned to Mr. Shinde, with Mr. Shinde's faction in government, him as the chief minister, uh, what does this mean for Uddhav Thakre and his leadership? See, Uddhav Thakre is a most honorable leader most respected labor leader, most lenient and inclusive leader, just don't forget, you are the people only. The private survey was con con conducted during his tenure and all the five times, the nation's five top chief ministers, Uddhav Thakre's name was always there. The way he has worked in Corona has been appreciated by New York Times. It was appreciated by the World Health Organization. It was appreciated by even the Honorable Supreme Court of the country. What more you need? Such a wonderful, great leader, just for the sake of an ambitious of a person to become the chief minister. All these other things are, are being just, I mean, it is a, they are just projecting the wrong thing. It is not the truth. The truth must prevail. Truth is that they have been threatened by ED. Many of them have been threatened by ED. Many of them in lured. Can you imagine a party's people living in Surat, where ruled by BJP? Living in Goa, ruled by BJP. Living in Goa, ruled by BJP. Is it a constitutional, a democratic function? Do you mean to say these are all democratic function? Sure. It is total violation. You know, they are a violation of the constitution of India. They are hurting the constitution given by the late, great Bharat Ratna Parampuja, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. It's an assault on it. The okay. long battle or battle, that's a different part of it. The present situation is that it is unconstitutional, unethical. Please All try right. to understand that. All thanks right, Mr. Arvind me. Sawan, many thanks for joining us on this broadcast. Thank you so much.